Hi guys, in this video I want to show you why I like using Ocean Audio. It's O-C-E-N Audio, and it's a really great audio editor. Now, I love Audacity, and I know that a lot of people use Audacity. The, there are some really great things about Audacity, one, it being free, being able to do things like noise reduction and add effects, as well as being multi-track. Really, really great program. Ocean Audio is a little bit different, but one of the things that I like about it is just its ease of use. If I'm only wanting to edit one audio file at a time, in other words, I don't need to stack multiple audio tracks. Maybe I'm not necessarily doing like a podcast or something like that. I don't need like a multi-track editor. I just want to edit a waveform. I prefer having a dedicated app for that, and I've used Audacity for years for that. Ocean Audio is, I think, a little bit nicer looking and in some instances a little bit easier to use. One of the things that I really like about it is that you can convert to MP3 right out of the box. So you don't need to install the lame encoder, although that's not that hard to do. But if you've ever run into that issue or it's been a challenge for you, Ocean Audio might be a good alternative for you. So it is also free. So you can pick it up at the link I'll put in this description. And I just want to show you how I use it to sort of finalize my music. Now, what I do is I do all of my mixing and mastering in my DAW, my digital audio workstation. So I'm not doing any mastering or adding any effects in Ocean Audio. I just like to use it for kind of tidying up either the beginning or the end of these audio files, as well as I use it as a sample editor. So a lot of the samples that you hear in this song I edited the actual WAV file, the actual sound file, in Ocean Audio. Here's a little sample. So it's just a little instrumental track here, and I've done everything in here in Energy XT. I like the way that it sounds. I'm happy with it. I use just a couple of plugins for mastering, basically for volume and compression. That's about it. All of the rest of it, um, I mix right in the box here, and then I export a WAV file, and that's what I'm going to show you I use Ocean Audio for. So one thing that I really like about it is how easy and straightforward it is. The UI is, is very nice. So I can just drag and drop it right in here. This is my WAV file, and I can see that the peak's nice and clear. Very fluid and easy. Like I, I really like the, the refreshing and the zoom and, and those kinds of things. It's, it's just very responsive. The, really, the only thing that I do for my music in Ocean Audio is just make sure that the, the very end of this is faded out and I have a shortcut key. Um, it's very easy to edit these shortcut keys. So if I go to Edit and Preferences, we have a tab here for key bindings, and it's just really, really easy to uh, find the, the shortcut key that you want to edit or add a shortcut for. So I use the bracket keys here for fading in and fading out because I do that a lot. And I just like to test it out, make sure it starts nice. There's no click or or noise or something at the beginning of the, the file. And that's about it. As far as actually editing the audio, I just want to make sure it fades out to absolutely nothing before the end of the, the, the file. The other thing that I really prefer Ocean Audio over Audacity for is actually saving out the file and adding some metadata. So if I right click on my file in this, uh, left-hand panel, I can click on Get Info, and this will bring up a Properties dialog where I can do a lot of different things. So I can edit details, and I like to go ahead and do that. So I'm, I'm just saving it back as a WAV file, so I'm not doing any re-encoding because the, uh, the final file that I want to upload to my Bandcamp account, where this track along with uh, more tracks are going to be available soon, uh, I want to be the highest quality, which is a PCM WAV in this case. so But I can still add metadata to my WAV file. So the song name here is, in this case, Catalyst. So I can just put it all of the info in right here. 
The artist is Anu. The album is also called Catalyst, so I can copy and paste that. I leave the um, album artist blank. Put my name in as the composer. I can select a genre. This is electronic. Even put the year, 2019. The disc number, the track, it's going to be one of, I already know this, it's going to be one of five. And I could even put the BPM in here as well. And I get that from my DAW, which is 98 BPM. I could also add keywords or comments. I usually don't do that, but I do add artwork in here. If I grab some of my album artwork that I've created for Catalyst, I can just drag and drop it right into the artwork field right here. Okay, so I just resaved over my original WAV file. If I play this now with Quick Looks, just pushing the spacebar, you can see now it gives me all the information and the album artwork right here in the little uh, mini auto player. And I just really like that. I like having artwork that goes along with my music files. Also, if I convert this to AAC or um, M4A audio, which is what I like to upload to my Google Play Music account, it's going to retain all of that metadata. So all of the details and the artwork that I added in Ocean Audio is now um, also converted when I convert the file to uh, AAC. And uh, to do that, I'm using the Media Human Audio Converter. So if you need an alternative, maybe something that's a little bit easier to use than Audacity, check out Ocean Audio. Also check out the uh, Media Human Audio Converter for a quick way of batch converting lots of audio files to different formats. Hope this was helpful for somebody out there. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.